Awesome. All right. Good morning, everybody. It's really sunny here in the Caribbean. And today, we're going back to start working in our splits. And what do we need for that? We need to have a good warm up in the hips area, okay? And something that a lot of people forget about when you are want to try on your splits. What do you forget about? You had to have strong muscles around the hips to have a good support. And also you had to have a good mobility. To have a good split or straddles is not just about stretching. A lot of people get confused or maybe you don't know much about it and you think that to get a good split you just need to stretch and stay a really long time in the posture. All right, that's something that you people used to think before. It's not like that, okay? We need to have a good hips um, mobility, strong muscles around it, strong glutes, strong hip flexors, and also a good warm up before you split. So let's do that. Get in your mat. If you have blocks, get your blocks. But remember, if you don't have blocks, you can get your books with the hardcover or you can also get pillows and you can stack them one on top of the other, all right? So, seat yourself in your comfortable way, but let's go on a side. So, forget what I said. If we're gonna sit actually here with your knees bent, hands in the back as support, and let's start with your hips circled. We've done this in the past, and they're really important here to warm up, to check that whole, your whole spine is not just collapsing, you're having your spine nice and long and strong. Pause here and go with your other leg, with your other hip, with the other side of the hip, sorry. Pause here. One leg up, just the foot in circles. Down and your other one. And down. Okay, let's get into the table pose from here. Let me move a tiny bit the mat. There you go. Let's get into your table pose. And then start thinking that you're gonna do a hip circle from the table. But try to avoid the extra movement they can generate, be generated by this with the rest of your body. So we try to lean into one side or start moving the hips or still moving a lot of the spine. Just try to localize the movement just in the one side of the head and see how wide you can go. Knee into your chest and open up into the sky and you start again. And it doesn't have to be a big and wide move, right? Can be simple. Remember that we do it to both, in both directions. Okay, sorry, I'm a little bit slow this morning. Awesome, let's do one more and let's switch leg. Bring it down, core holding the spine, start with your other side and try to just bring the movement into the head area and nothing else. Doesn't have to be a big move. And make sure let's do it in both directions, okay? All right, one more time and bring it down. Now something that I, I do a lot of my classes is gonna be the next move. And I suggest to have blocks if you need them so you can have a nice and long spine. Remember, our hips are connecting with our spine. And sometimes when we cannot improve flexibility and mobility of your hip, it's because something's going on also on your spine and you need to work on that as well. We are all one thing and everything is connected. Bring your foot in the front, back knee in the back, check knee over the heel. And we're gonna start 
trying to drop a little bit the hips. Now what's going on here usually, we're dropping the hips, we forget about our spine, and suddenly we're just arching and collapsing on it. Instead of that, try to engage your core. You're gonna have to lift your pelvic floor. That means that this front foot is pressing down with intention and that the back glute also is squeezing, it's activating, it's contracting. So we can have a nice and supported spine, lower part of your sacrum and hips area. So once you get here, I would like you to have all this support, glutes, core, quad, hamstring, front foot is pressing down. I like to have the back of my toes pressing down as well because it gives me more awareness of how this leg is. But if this bothers you or it hurts or it's uncomfortable, just bring the top of your foot and press down with intention. Don't leave it just there. Yeah. Once we got all that, then you start trying to lower your hips more and go as far as you can go having all this support. If suddenly you need to let go something to go lower, then please don't. That won't be the purpose of this practice today. Engage glutes, core, everything that we talk about. That's why if you need it, keep the blocks right here. And we're gonna lift the back knee up and down. Up, so it's a, it's a tiny move. It's a really tiny move. But as we're here, we try to square these hips, and this will help us to get our square splits. Now, how this will look if you cannot bring your toes down in the back foot, bring the top of it, press down, and lift. Now this will be a great addition as well to work on your pointy foot in the back. All right, three more, four, and one. Lower, lift, and switch. Oops. Let's go with this structure as we did it before. Instead of collapsing and let it go, lift your pelvic floor, squeeze the glutes, engage your core. So you're taking your hips forward just a bit. Front knee, same line as your heel. Front foot pressing with intention. Back foot pressing with intention. Can be the toes, can be the top. And from there, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale and exhale, hold it. When you're ready, lift and lower. Lift and lower. And feel how what's going on with this side of the hip, okay? Check it out that you can have it square and facing down. And lower. Inhale, lift and lower. Squeeze this glute. Activate it. Try to do no collapse. See how my belly is going forward? Try to squeeze it in. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Down. If you did it like me, now bring the top of it. If you did it with the top, bring your toes on it, okay? Just try both, try both ways. Inhale, lift, and lower. Inhale, lift, and lower. You wanna make it more intense? No hand support. Trust your leg, and you will feel it. It's gonna be a nice stretch here as you squeeze your glutes and lower. All right. After that, take a seat, feet as wide as the mat, and move slowly your hips side to side. Okay, awesome. If you're ready to move forward with your splits. I'm going to do an online workshop exclusive, exclusively 
for splits and straddles. And this is tour next Saturday. So it's gonna be the last three Saturdays of the month. And for everybody that is coming and joining me, we're gonna work online. And you're gonna have access for that class that we did during the whole week until the next class. So you can practice and work on it at home and you will have homework to do because as I always say, and probably you heard from other teachers too, getting into splits and your straddles, it has to do with consistency. A lot of people are already quite flexible. If you're born like that and you're quite flexible, awesome. Probably you need to work on the strength and have a nice support of your hips. A lot of us are a little bit more stiff or stiffer. And there's another way that we need to work in our mobility in order to be more flexible. So there are a lot of trigger points that we are gonna be pointing to to help you improve your splits and straddles to also to help you go to square splits. Square for the ones that don't know, it will be trying to leave the hips right here facing straight to the front instead of, like a lot of people have and this will be kind of square and facing down, no square will be this opening, yeah? which is nothing wrong with it, because it has to do also with how your body works. However, there are things that we can do to correct that. So if you wanna jump into the online workshop, it's gonna be three Saturdays, a full hour online, with time to also ask me questions and work in your specific uh, situation. And you can have access to that class during the whole week until we finish the course. And a little homework as well. If you wanna do that, just send me a message because this I'm, going, I'm doing it with one of the studios I'm working here, Quintessential Movement. So send me a message and, and then I'll put you in contact with the studio and we can sign up and move forward. On the other hand, like every Sunday, I'm gonna be here helping you with tips and tutorials, but the only way that you get better is if you practice. Be consistent in your practice and your splits, or if you wanna get upside down. I'm gonna continue as well with the headstand uh, classes every Sunday after this at 10.30. Shoot me a message for that if you want to improve your headstand, your forearm stand, and your handstand's position. So these are gonna be the two main things I'm doing during the month of June. Splits and straddles on Saturday, inversions on Sundays. Either or, Practice, be safe, and have fun.